Hello, hello. You solved quantum physics a couple weeks ago? The whole field? That's awesome. A flower fact is that flowers have ultraviolet markings on them to signal to pollinators where to go. And I think that's really fun. If I were a little bee, I would love to see the flower markings. I think that would be awesome. Why do humans get butterflies in their stomach? That's a great question. I don't know exactly the physiological reason behind that. I imagine that, this is me guessing, I imagine that your sympathetic nervous system is involved in some way with when you are anxious and activating a certain part of your nervous system might cause your muscles to spasm in unexpected ways, but that's a guess, not a fact. <laughs> is it normal to never feel emotions at all? I don't think so. Why can't you tolerate lactose? It's because you don't have an enzyme in your stomach to break down lactose. Probably because your ancestors didn't grow up around a lot of cows and so they didn't drink a lot of cow's milk to process the lactose in it. Why do people have asthma? It's a combination of genetics and the environment, as with most things, so that's kind of a cop-out answer. <laughs> but yeah, it's partially genetic, it's partially environmental. There's different triggers for different types of asthma, so it's it's hard to say that the, like exactly what is the cause of any one person's asthma if you aren't their doctor, but that's my generic science answer. <laughs> Lactose-free milk is just milk with lactase enzyme added. Oh, neat. Do I have hyena facts now? I do have a hyena fact. My hyena fact is that female and male hyenas are difficult to tell apart because they have similar looking genitalia. Isn't that a fun fact? <laughs> I hope that was worth the wait. <laughs> do I know that also ice volcanoes are a thing? I did not know that ice volcanoes are a thing. The only ice and volcano thing I know is that there is a glacier on Mount St. Helen, which is an active volcano. Just because of the way that it has erupted and built craters, there's a little part of Mount St. Helen that is home to a little glacier because it's just covered in shadow. It was really worth the wait. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> what do I think about aliens? I think aliens is not the most pressing issue that we have right now. <laughs> we got a lot of other stuff going on on Earth. Thoughts on speed? Like the derivative of position? Whoa, wait, hold on. No, the derivative of velocity. You can tell I'm not a physics person. <laughs> is sound faster than light? No, the speed of light is faster than the speed of sound. Facts about hammerhead sharks? I actually do have a fact about hammerhead sharks now. The hammerhead structure is designed for pinning prey to the bottom of the ocean floor. So like, I think specifically stingrays, they like to just pin to the sand with their flat head. How much faster is light? I don't know that off the top of my head. Mice facts is that mice are a really good model organism for medicine, for human medicine, because their genome is pretty similar to ours and they also have a lot of similar a lot of their body systems are similar to the way that human body system also works do i have a dodecahedron this is a regular dodecahedron which means that it has 12 sides of all regular pentagons does pi ever end no it does not why do i think other species of animals didn't evolve to be as smart as humans i don't know i think Smart and whether or not humans are the only intelligent creature is also subjective, so it's hard to really say. Are doctors and dermatologists the same? Like, can you ask your doctor about your acne? Um, you can ask your general doctor about any issue, but they might refer you to a specialist if you have a more specific question. So you can definitely ask your regular doctor about acne. You can definitely ask them about it. But if you want to get more specialized advice, or specialized prescriptions, then you might have to see a, you might have to get referred to a dermatologist depending on what you're asking for. But dermatologists are a type of doctor. You have like, your internal medicine doctor is just going to be your kind of, they are able to do everything in at least a well understood way. But then if you wanna get super specialized, then you have to go see like a dermatologist, for example. Who created Pi? Uh, 
I mean, pie is a concept, so nobody really created it per se, but the ancient Greek people are generally credited with thinking of pie and the con and conceptualizing it and calculating it, I think. What do I use in my hair? Genetics. <laughs> Virus fact. Uh, the first mainstream vaccine that was developed was the smallpox vaccine developed by Edward Jenner in like the 1800s, I think. And he tested it on a gardener's eight-year-old son. <laughs> but the reason why vaccines are called vaccines is because it was originally based off of a related pox from cows that was related to smallpox. And the Latin word for cow is vaca. So vaccine, vaca comes from cows. If I were to have any superpower, what would it be? Man, I honestly, this is gonna sound really lame, but this is legit. Ultimate like communication. I think if I could be the ultimate communicator, that would, that would be sick. Just like no matter what I want to describe, I will have described it perfectly. That would be, that would be sick. Comprehension? Yeah, like anytime I want someone to understand something, I would just be able to explain it perfectly and they would automatically understand. <laughs> Facts about bees is that if bees are attacked by a hornet, they can do this thing called bee balling where they make a ball of bees around the attacker and like shake it so hard and pretty much like cook it inside the bee ball. I think that's pretty metal. Elephant facts? Ooh, there are three types of elephants in the world. There's the two types of African elephant and one type of Asian elephant. I believe the two types of Afri African elephant is bush and savanna, or no, 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 forest and savanna. But yeah, some elephants have evolved without tusks as kind of like this demonstrated evolution against protecting against poachers, which I think is like, cool but also sad that they had to be able to do that facts about ants this is the classic favorite ant fact ants when they die excrete this chemical called oleic acid and that scent is what other ants use to be able to tell oh this ant is dead so they will take the ant to the graveyard and just have the pile of dead ants so scientists one time took this ant who was very much alive, but just covered it in oleic acid to see what would happen. And what happened is that the other ants took the oleic acid smelling ant to the graveyard, even though it was still alive. And it kept trying to come back to the colony because I was like, hey guys, I'm still alive. <laughs> but the other ants kept bringing it back to the graveyard and back to the graveyard until it finally was able to get the oleic acid off. And I think that's really funny. Facts about whales is that blue whale poop is orange, like bright orange. Facts about snakes is that there's no snakes in New Zealand. Sloth facts? Should we do the sloth fact, guys? <laughs> I have this one classic sloth fact. It is always the sloth fact, never any other sloth fact. But sloths spend most of their lives in trees because they are very slow and being in trees protects them from having predators eat them. But one thing they do come off the tree for is to go poop. And they take a really, really long time to poop, as they do with most things, because again, they are very slow boys. And unfortunately, over half of all sloth deaths occur when they are on the ground pooping. Facts about cats is that cats spend about 70% of their lives sleeping and if you've ever met a cat, then you know that to be true. <laughs> Another flower fact is that there's a flower called the corpse flower that like blooms. I think it blooms only once a year, but it's like a really, really big kind of phallic looking flower that blooms once a year. And it's really, really stinky, but it is a very popular tourist attraction for people to just like go smell the stinky flower that probably smells like a corpse. And that's a tourist attraction. Is it weird that if you're in pain, you can convince yourself that it's just your brain lying and then it doesn't hurt? It depends on the type of pain. If it's like for all types of pain, including really intense pain, then I'm not sure that you wanna be doing that. But if it's like a paper cut or like a 
if you stub your toe, then yeah, I mean, pain is part physiological and part psychological. Any facts about smoking? In general, there's kind of dubious advice on how to prevent cancer or like this increases or decreases your risk of getting cancer, but not smoking. Actually, let me phrase this in the in a different way. Smoking is one of the clearest ways to lead to cancer. So there's not a whole ton of things that we're like definitively this causes cancer, this does not cause cancer. But smoking is one of those things that we definitely know severely increases your risk of lung and esophageal, throat, lung, all that cancer. So do not smoke. And if you need help quitting, then look up resources in your area. What's my Komodo dragon fact? Okay, so Komodo dragons used to be there's kind of this myth that Komodo dragons have these very bacteria-filled mouths and that they kill prey by biting them with their bacteria-filled mouths and then the bacterial infection causes the prey to die and that's when they eat them. That's not true. What is true is that they have venom in their mouths and the venom kills the prey. But the reason why there was that myth going around is because scientists, or not even scientists, but just like people would see water buffalo with Komodo dragon bites and they would die of bacterial infection. And they were like, wow, these Komodo dragon are really like killing, playing the long game with killing this prey. But what actually happens is that the venom is supposed to kill the prey, but the water buffalo is too big so they don't die. And then the water buffalo go into the water with their bite and they get infected from the dirty water. But really the Komodo dragon actually failed to kill the water buffalo and that's why it got infected. Facts about parrots is that when parrots are mimicking human speech, it's really just mimicry. You have to be working with a parrot for a really intense long time for it to actually understand what certain words mean but in general parrots are just mimicking they don't really understand human speech in the same way that we do playing trivia against me must be a nightmare actually i'm not necessarily the best at trivia because a lot of trivia that you go play in like bars or something revolves around pop culture and specifically like old movies or old songs and I don't really know a lot about like classic movies and classic music so I'm actually only middling at <laughs> trivia. Facts about attention span is that goldfish don't actually have a three second attention span that's kind of a exaggerated myth. Facts about eyes is that the way that glasses work is that they literally just focus the light so it hits the back of your eye in a more clear picture. And if you have bad vision, then it usually usually means that your eye is literally like elongated. So this is what a normal eye looks like round. And then this is like a slightly bad vision. It's slightly elongated. What's my favorite force? Examples being gravity, friction, etc. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> That's an interesting question. Um... I like friction because I get it. <laughs> Other forces I don't necessarily get. I'm not a physics girly. What about contacts? Contacts, I believe, just do the same thing, but on a different scale. So instead of the lenses in front of your eye here, it's like on your eye there. Facts about sound slash hearing is that you have little bones and little structures inside your ear that all vibrate when you hear sound. And the thing that we call the eardrum is also called like the tympanic structure. I forget what the noun form of it, but it's like it's the tym tympanic structure in your ear. And tympani is a type of drum, so your eardrum is literally a little drum. <laughs> kangaroos. Kangaroos are really, really strong. You do not want to mess with a kangaroo. They will they will remove you from the census. <laughs> but yeah, I believe kangaroos can actually stand on their tail. Swimming facts. I don't know that much about swimming. I do know that lions don't like to swim. They generally avoid the water when when possible. What's my favorite shark? My favorite shark is the cookie cutter shark because it has a little circle shaped bite. But like, okay, I've been talking about the cookie cutter shark for a while now, but like the more horrifying detail about the cookie cutter shark bites is that they literally like take a little chunk, they take a little circle chunk out of whatever prey that they're feasting on. So it literally looks like they just took a little cookie cutter stamp out of 
the flesh of whatever they're eating. Penguin facts. Penguins are more genetically diverse than humans are, which is funny because they look really similar, but they actually have a lot of genetic diversity. Skin facts is that your skin is an organ. What is a period cramp? It's a uterine, uterine cramp. It's a uterine contraction. My favorite chemical element, it changes every time people ask, but my favorite chemical element right now is gallium because it's a metal that has a really low melting point that's about body temperature. So if you put a piece of solid gallium in your hand, it will melt into a liquid in your hand. Facts about PTSD is that there was some study that came out that playing, I think they studied Tetris. So like playing Tetris after a traumatic event helps reduce the risk of developing complex PTSD, which I think is so interesting. Thumb facts is that opposable thumbs are pretty iconic of humans, but we are not the only creatures that have opposable thumbs. I believe koalas also have opposable thumbs. Facts about light. Ooh. Bat fact is that bat poop is called guano and it is very nitrogen rich. So it is very nutritious, but not for humans. I always feel like I have to say, don't just go and eat animal poop. Don't do that. But if you are like a salamander that lives in a cave with a bat, then that bat poop is pretty, pretty, pretty delicious. <laughs> pretty nutritious. Don't do it. Fun facts about humans. Ooh, what's a fun fact about humans? Babies stare at things that they find visually interesting or appealing. So if a baby is staring at you, it probably thinks that you're nice to look at. Why is it good to sleep much? Um, because it is when your brain gets to rest. It's when your brain processes the activities and memories of the day. So that's when you can let your brain get a break, process things, store things in long-term memory. It's just all around really good for you, good for your body too. Wouldn't it be cool if there was an automated machine, automated machine to shuffle the Rubik's Cube for us? I believe there are. I don't have one, but I believe there are. Maybe not for a Mega Minx, but I know... Mm, do I know? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that there exists an automatic Rubik's Cube shuffler. I'm sure somebody's made one at some point. Fact is about dreams. We don't know a lot about dreams, actually. It's just, it's very hard to actually study what goes on inside of people's brains because it's, you know, inside the brain. <laughs> so we actually don't know a ton about dreams. A bunch of the stuff that Freud said is probably wrong. That's all I know. <laughs> I've been editing my videos for a YouTube format and it is, it takes so long to edit videos. Oh my goodness. Any fox facts? The fennec fox is a little baby fox. Very teeny boy, very cute. I like them a lot. Giraffe fact is that a giraffe's tongue is like 20 inches long. Facts about eye colors is that everybody with blue eyes descended from one relatively recent common ancestor that had blue eyes. So that thing where people are like, oh, if I have blue eyes, I can't, I don't feel comfortable dating anybody else who also has blue eyes because I feel like we're siblings. That is like semi-true, <laughs> semi-true. Any facts about bunnies is that Bunnies have to eat their own poop to survive, otherwise they die of malnutrition. The act of eating poop is called coprophagy. Eating poop as a human is not considered a good sign, but if you are a bunny, then it is an excellent sign. Facts about spiders is that there's a spider called the vampire spider that really likes eating human blood, but it isn't strong enough its fangs aren't strong enough to actually bite through a human skin. So what it does instead is it eats the, it eats mosquitoes that have just sucked human blood. And that's how it gets its human blood fix. Facts about birds, any bird? Well then, might I regale you with the glory and beauty that is a toucan's skull. The assignment, if you have not done this before on one of my lives is to go look up what a toucan skull looks like. <laughs> toucan is so scary. I know, it's, I, love, I love people's reactions in the chat when they have gone and looked up the toucan skull. Facts about mosquitoes is that things called gene drives is what some geneticists are trying to do to eradicate the population of mosquitoes in the world. They're trying to insert certain genes into the harmful mosquito populations so that they will no longer be able to reproduce. Peacock facts is that 
The males are called peacocks, but the females are called peahens. How do I have such a good memory? Literally just practice. <laughs> Cubing isn't impressive, it's just memorizing patterns. Yup. <laughs> also me saying all of these facts isn't impressive, it's just me memorizing facts. Okay, bye.